Hello, my name is Nasir. I would like to welcome you all to the second part of this three-part series in which we will cover Load Balancing Horizon View with Kemp. In the previous video, we went over the three ways in which you can load balance Horizon View. This video will cover the second method. Let's talk about the pros and cons of using multi-port affinity. The pros are, we do not rely on source IP affinity, and we do not require multiple public virtual IP addresses. The cons, it uses non-standard port numbers from the internet, although the port numbers on the UAG appliances themselves are standard. Enough talking theoretical, let's get configuring. I'll be using the templates we have for Horizon View to make my life a bit easier. You can download our templates by navigating to kemp.ax, in resources under documentations, you will find all of our deployment guides and templates. I've already downloaded the template ahead of time. So let's go ahead and import it to the load balancer. To upload the template onto the load balancer, let's navigate to virtual service, manage templates. Choose the template which you would like to add and click add new template. Once we've added the template, let's navigate to add new. Let's put in the IP address for our internal virtual service and then select the template from the drop-down menu. For our persistence option, we'll use source IP with the timeout being one hour. You can change the timeout value as per your organizational needs. I've gone ahead and added my connection servers. And there you have it. We have set up a virtual service load balancing the connection servers. Time to test. Now, let's start configuring our external load balancer for the UAG servers. Since we've already covered importing the templates, I won't go through this piece again. Navigate to Virtual Service, Add New. Let's put in the IP address for our external virtual service and then select Template from the drop-down menu. I've gone ahead and added the UAG servers. And there you have it. We have set up a virtual service load balancing the UAG servers. There's just one more thing we need to do before we test, and that is to grab the thumbprint. To do so, navigate to our FQDN, click on the View Site Info, Certificates, Details. Scroll down to the thumbprint and copy the thumbprint. There are a couple of changes that need to be made on the UAG server. We'll need to change the connection server URL thumbprint, PC OIP external URL, BLAST external URL, and TUNNEL external URL to match the virtual service. Time to test! There's one final thing I would like to do, is to navigate to the load balancer and go to statistics and real-time statistics. Here we can see all the different connections hitting the different virtual services. I hope this video was informative and thank you for watching.